Today, we will learn conversion of fraction into decimal and conversion of decimal into fraction. Let us learn how to represent fraction in decimal form. Assume we need to express 3 by 4 in decimal form. To do so, we have to find the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 whose denominator is 10, 100 or 1000. We cannot make the denominator of 3 by 4 10. But if we multiply the numerator and denominator of 3 by 4 by 25, we will get the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4, which is 75 by hundredths, whose denominator is 100. Now, we can write 75 hundredths as 0 0.75. Let us now learn about conversion from decimal form into fraction. Assume we need to express 3.25 in fraction form. To do so, we will consider one whole square. To represent the numbers till hundreds, we will divide this into 100 equal parts. To represent 3, we will take 3 squares and we will shade all the parts. And to represent 25 hundredths, we will shade 25 parts out of 100 parts, which is expressed as 25 by 100. As you can see, that this shaded part is one fourth part of the whole. So, we will write 1 by 4 in place of 25 by 100. Therefore, 3 whole and 1 fourth parts are represented in fractional form as 3 and 1 by 4. Thus, the fractional form of decimal number 3.25 is 3 and 1 by 4. In mathematics, to represent any decimal number in fractional form, we will separate the whole part and the part smaller than units. Then, we will represent the part smaller than units in fractional form. And, we will find the simplest form of this fraction. Finally, we will write the whole part along with the part smaller than this. Today, we have learnt conversion of fraction into decimal and conversion of decimal into fraction. In the next video, we will learn representation of decimal numbers on the number line.